Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. This is magic. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Water, water, water cycle. The water cycle. What is it? Whoa! Uh, nope. That's a tiny cycle. The water cycle. Yeah! No, that's a unicycle. The water cycle. No, that's a popsicle. Yes, you can eat it. Wow, that was fast. The water cycle. The process by which water moves continuously through the earth and the atmosphere. It works like this. Water condenses in the clouds, then precipitates down to the earth, then evaporates back up to the clouds again. That's Condensation, precipitation, evaporation. It's a continuous and ongoing cycle that's a natural earth process. The water cycle is kind of amazing. Without water, there can be no living things. And the water cycle is integral to the magic of water. The water cycle's motion is driven by the heat of the sun. Oh, yeah! It literally has no start and no end. It is continuous. Condensation, precipitation, evaporation. <laughs> Condensation is the cooling of water vapor in the atmosphere from gas into a liquid. The water vapor form little droplets around the tiny, tiny dust particles in the atmosphere and starts to get heavy. Precipitation. This precipitation either runs off the surface of the earth into rivers, lakes, streams, or oceans, or the precipitation soaks right into the earth. When water soaks into the earth, it's called infiltration. Mm -hmm. Water that soaks into the earth and is stored naturally below the surface is called groundwater. Mm -hmm. And it's stored in the small spaces between the sand and the rocks in aquifers deep below the surface of the earth. Water that stays on the surface of the earth and runs off is called runoff. <laughs> This water is heated by the sun, turns to a gas, and evaporates back up to the clouds. This part of the water cycle is called evaporation. So, evaporation, condensation, precipitation. The water cycle is continuous. Driven by the heat of the sun, there is no start and there is no finish. By the way, plants also release water vapor into the atmosphere. This is called transpiration. Transpiration is when water takes a detour from the soil into plants and then is transpired through their leaves into the atmosphere. Having said that, the majority of the moisture in our atmosphere comes from oceans, seas, lakes, rivers, not from plants. The water within the water cycle is super important to humans for two very specific reasons. One, because we do lots of cool stuff in the water, and two, 
because we're mostly made of it. In fact, the average human adult body is 50 to 65% water. Babies typically around 75 to 78% made of water. Oh no! Humans cannot drink salt water. And this is tricky because 97% of the water on the planet is salt water in oceans and seas. That leaves only 3% of the Earth's water, the fresh water, for us to use. The vast majority of that fresh water is frozen at the poles of the Earth. And we humans love to use water in all sorts of ways. These cupcakes would not be possible without water. It's true. <laughs> Water, in this case, is like a magical little wizard that uses its powers to transform dry ingredients into a completely new mixture capable of wonderful sweetness. Then it holds that new mixture together while it's being cooked and leaves. Only when the cupcake is capable of standing tall and being delicious all by itself. Yeah! These donuts would not be possible without water. This chocolate cake not possible without water. Oh yeah. Not only do we make delicious treats with water, but we use water in many, many other ways. We brush our teeth with water. We drink it. We swim in it. Surf, ski, and snowboard in it. We make hydropower with it. We can put forest fires out with it. We water our lawns with it. All this use can put a strain on the freshwater systems of our planet. Because there are about 7 billion of us humans, and man, we love water. So it's really important that we never waste water or pollute it. For example, nothing should ever be dumped into these storm drains. No trash, no motor oil, no fertilizers, no grass clippings, and no pet poop. Oh no! Because that storm drain drains directly into rivers and streams and oceans. And as you know, they are part of the water cycle. Other ways to conserve water include taking a shower rather than a bath, turning the water off when you brush your teeth, and never let a dripping faucet or a leaky toilet go unfixed. A faucet dripping once every three seconds wastes two gallons every day or 700 gallons every year. Water is such a magical wizard, and this is absolutely true. The amount of water on Earth has stayed the same over eons and eons and eons. It only changes form, solid, liquid, gas, solid, liquid, gas, constantly changing. is the water cycle. Ah! Nope, that's a unicycle. That's a tiny cycle. That's a popsicle. <laughs> the water cycle is the process by which water moves continuously through the earth and atmosphere in a never-ending cycle. <laughs>